Hey guys, good morning. It's Simon. Um, this will be a short video because I have five minutes, but I wanted to show you all how um, I do the levels on the charts. And I have a couple people I'm coaching who are unfamiliar with the profile. So we're just going to get started. And if you'll watch this day over day, you'll start to get a rhythm of how I set things up. So you'll see uh, the first thing I want you to notice is Friday. This is a white zone. It was a final anomaly from a date back to the left. Again, these terms will come familiar with you as we go through um, day after day. So you can see we bounced right out. So this uh, this anomaly is actually still good uh, because we did not complete all the way to the back, as you will see. So the way I handle it is this. So a little sloppy here on the... A uh, little sloppy on the... What is this? Let's move to the day's low. This was an important area, so I had that red line there. So I just need to make this adjustment. I'm going to copy and move this. So prior days high. So this now becomes a Dalton's gap fill. So it becomes color yellow. And then I make it a dash. I know that that's Dalton's gap fill. Uh, there's a mid of a half gap here that will often get rejection. Um, so I'll mark that off. Simply use the 5060 tool. And I'll mark that off in yellow. It's a small mid of a half gap, but it'll often, again, provide resistance. So I'll pop it up there. This is a prior day's low. Obviously, that's gone. So I want to drag this down to remember. Oops. So I'm just going to drag this right underneath prior day's low. And then I'm going to copy and duplicate. Again, this is not so much a educational video as much as it's like, hey, here's how I do this. Keep watching and you'll get it kind of thing. I'm going to move these dotted lines. Our prior days, POC and TPO points of control. So POC, point of control. So I mark those off. So that's a prior day. So remember, anytime you have a prior days that's more than 24 hours old, that tends to become a good area. I would note in your notes that the volume point of control is lower at 39.24. So I would mark it off. So see that? I don't so much care about the TPO point of control. The volume point of control is the magnet on those. So I'm going to make the yellow zone 39.24 to 39.15. I want to mark off the new value area low, so I'm going to copy the purple lines, which denote value area low and high. Mark off purple value area high. Copy it again. Value area high. And um, you may want to make a note that there's a, a gap fill here. Um, I'll make it a little blue line. I usually don't care about the retail gap fill. That was in an odd area. But I'll mark it off in light blue. There's really nothing else besides the fact that that's retail gap fill. So you want to make that a note as to why that's there. And um, as you can see, there's just no clear anomaly. Again, this is retail gap fill, so I'll mark it off in light blue as they got squeezed up. That was the close at 3 o'clock. I normally don't care about it, but again, it was pretty just Friday afternoon short squeeze back up. And you'll often find that the retail traders want to come up and fill in the gap. So that's why it's marked off, but it's light blue. I do not expect to lean against it. There's my alarm. I have to go get the girls up. And everything else remains the same, right? I don't expect that we'll get past 38.12. If I do, there's um, important swing lows down here at 37.70, 37.60, 37.56 to 53. There's a naked volume point of control there, I believe. Uh, a prior day swing low at 37.40. That's actually a monthly swing low. And then 37.28. Again, between 38.10 and 37.70, pretty empty neighborhood. Um, and so then when we look up, we've already marked off prior day's point of control. And then there's some single prints, which denote a prior day's excess. 
And if you want to know what these terms mean, uh, mind over market by Dalton. Change the outline on that to a kind of deep green. Okay, okay. And then we shoot that across by hitting uh, extend drawing. And that is how we do that. Let's make sure we have the upstairs ones marked off. We do. Control A, save. And that's what makes this chart look now like this in the five minute chart. And you can see overnight we came down, we got below prior day's low. You can see how they held the back end of that anomaly from Monday. We responded, they make one final push, trap back in so that 3850 sets up a potential head and shoulders on the five minutes. The natural target is back to 3864 to 3869. Um, and that's how we do that. And we uh, pull this up and we go edit, copy chart to BMP, file, save as JPEG, ES0919. Save. Upload. And then I'll post this video right now. Let's see if I can get a hold of it. What have I done with it?